One of the more prominent new saints is Father Damien, a Belgian priest who dedicated his life to helping lepers in Hawaii, living among them and eventually dying of leprosy himself. This Belgian priest living in Hawaii became much bigger than both Belgium and Hawaii, justifiably celebrated by both. But by the time of his death, by the time of that, the, the immense suffering that he underwent on Molokai, he had become a truly international figure. The missionary spirit in him would shape the mold of his service to others. Damien prayed to be sent abroad. His prayers were finally answered in the form of a missionary trip to Hawaii in 1864, the same year he was ordained priest. Another European, Rafael Arnaiz Baron, known also as Brother Rafael, was also given a place on the altars. He was born in Spain in 1911 and died at the age of 27 as an oblate of the Trappist of St. Isidore de Dueñas. He left his studies behind in 1934 to become a monk, something he did for only a few years because of the severe diabetes that he suffered. He had an affinity for the Eucharist, the Virgin, and God's providence over history. Another Spaniard, Francis Cole, was also canonized. He was a Dominican priest, who the Pope described as one eagerly dedicated to proclaim the gospel. Francis was conscious of the ignorance surrounding religion, which is why he founded the Congregation of the Dominican Sisters of the Annunciation of the Blessed Virgin Mary, who dedicated themselves to educating girls, a group Francis considered the pillar of society. He discovered that women have a privileged role in the construction of society, and that this role couldn't be well carried out without formation, schools for girls, and an education that Francis understood as best. Blessed Archbishop Zygmunt Stusny Felinsk was also named saint. He founded the Congregation of the Franciscan Sisters of the Family of Mary and was Archbishop of Warsaw. Archbishop Felinsk defended his fellow Poles, who were pushing back against Russian annexation in the latter part of the 19th century. He died in exile and would never see Poland again. During the last few years of his life, he was Archbishop of Tarso Ashvinatska, which was under Austrian rule. His biographers said he did a remarkable amount of priestly, educational, and social work. The last new saint, Marie de croix jugan comes from France. She founded the Congregation of the Little Sisters of the Poor, and once took an elderly blind woman she found on the street into her home. She didn't have the intention of doing anything big. She was just doing an act of charity for one person she knew and knew needed help. Five exceptional figures celebrated in St. Peter's Square, recognized for their work and their service to others and God.